environment. They have to maintain mass distractions, poisoning our DNA, and then poisoning our environment. You see, everybody thinks that, oh, uh, nuclear warfare, everything is going to be, you know, wiped out with nuclear warfare. That's that's hogwash. And let me explain why that's hogwash. Because the Archons and the Draconians would never destroy their loose factory. Why would they do, <laughs> why would they destroy their prison, their prison house? You see what I'm saying? Where they where they they get free loose and, and they're the kings, they're the kings of this realm. Why would they destroy it? You see what I'm saying? So right. so instead of instead of destroying it, you just poison the population, you know, with, with the you know what. Uh, you know, in in uh, in our bodies, uh, and you know that they're putting in the skies, they're putting in the water, they're putting in the GMO foods, and then you have mass distractions, which is your sports, your entertainment, you know, uh, mm-hmm. mo- most of what's on social media. So, um, RFG, if we have, you know, just if if it's going to be as above, so below, and we got good guys and bad guys down here, and we talk about Trump. Is not all the way with them, but somewhat with them. And Kamala, if we got Kamala versus Trump, who's the Archons versus? If it's Kamala versus Trump on the physical plane, is Archons versus who on the spiritual plane? Uh, it'd have to be Archons versus the old souls. The old souls that are tired of this realm, that are mm-hmm. tired of this parasitic loose farm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you, you know, we have younger souls in here and this is one of their first incarnations here. So they haven't gotten the opportunity to receive all the light codes that this realm has to offer. So, you know, you have you have old souls and then you have younger souls. Usually older souls are born in a family with mostly younger souls. And that's why the older souls, you know, we feel outcasted and, and shunned and ridiculed in this life uh, because in this realm, uh, the older souls are outnumbered by the younger souls. What would you say, Bob? By, by what percentage you would say? Well, the the older souls, of course, are going for Trump. the The newer souls are going for Kamala. Um, if Kamala gets in, you know, even though Kamala is on a lower vibration, if she gets in the matrix is going to crumble quicker because when we look at this from a a, a broader perspective here both trump and kamala are puppets so trump would keep the matrix up and going longer if kamala gets in it's going to be destroyed quicker Mm. because of because of her policies Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but but if you look at it from a broad perspective, it's actually a good thing that the matrix is going to crumble qu- quicker if Kamala gets in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, don't, don't we get tired of paying taxes to a government that is actively killing us and actively stealing our birthright? Don't we get tired of you know going to work for corporations that don't give a damn about us? Don't mm-hmm. d- don't we get don't we get tired of asking um, politicians? for handouts and, and you know instead of getting together with like-minded people so we can uh obtain our own resources mm-hmm. you know don't, don't don't we get tired of the rat race so mm-hmm. if if we're, if we're tired of the rat race shit, l- let kamala get in and let it be and, and and let it be destroyed quick seriously let it be destroyed quicker <laughs> oh this is a good show y'all ain't it it's a good show y'all ain't it oh man <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So talk to me about um we're talking we, we mentioned words like loose, we mentioned words like the archons. For those who may not be aware, like I, I just shared your Instagram post, who's Yaldabaoth? Could you tell uh, the people who may not know who is Yaldabaoth? Uh Yaldabaoth goes by uh many names um according to different cultures. Um in in the Dogon culture, the Dogon referred to this deity as Ogo. So that's O-G-O, Ogo. And um, according to the Dogon, as well as the Gnostics, uh, this deity was a subordinate deity um, that broke away from the true creator of this galaxy. Uh, The creator of this galaxy, they referred to her as Amma. Amma had uh, had eight children. 
and Ogo was one of them. All all eight children were actually twins. So it was four twins. And uh, so something happened with with Ogo because Ogo was not born with his twin. So mm -hmm. what happened is Ogo took a piece of Amma's placenta and, uh, you know, again, against her, you know, her authority. And she, from that placenta, he created the earth. And uh, he created the earth to be a loose harvesting factory because he didn't have a twin. He didn't have a twin to get energy from. So they're saying that he created the earth, you know, to, to get energy, to, to, to get energy and to put energy back out. But but Yaldabaoth's realm, the realm that he created, it's nothing but an energy recycling farm. That's all nature. When we talk about three dimensional nature, all it is is an energy recycling farm. There's a you know, there's a water cycle. There is a nitrogen cycle. There's a carbon cycle uh, on the earth. All the energy forms on earth go through cycles, including the souls of sentient beings. So Yaldabaoth, um, you know, through his own arrogance, through his own pride, you know, through his own low frequency, he literally created a realm which which is based on creatures feeding upon each other and you know while while the animals feed on each other while humans themselves feed on each other uh Yaldabaoth and the archons is feeding on all of us and that's why you know they want us divided they want us warring with each other they want us split up over petty differences uh because you know the lower the frequency and the more divided we are, the more vulnerable we are, you know, and, um, you know, just united we stand, divided we fall. But this this realm, this realm, in, in, in a sense, is it's nothing but a giant Ferris wheel. It's Yaldabaoth's Ferris wheel. And, you know, you can think about the souls being re reincarnated into new bodies over and over again. And you can also compare that to the different forms of energy that go through rec recycling processes on the earth. The goal is for us sentient beings to reach a high enough vibration to where we can break away from Yaldabaoth's realm and get closer to Amma. And you, you see what I'm saying? So that, that, right, that right there is called Moksha, M-O-K-S-H-A. Moksha. Yep. When, when, that's when we break the reincarnation cycle. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that and, and and that's that that right there is why they spend billions and even trillions of dollars on entertainment industries and industries that are specifically designed to lower the human frequency. What do you think about the Olympics, uh, RFG? What's your thoughts on that? Spiritually speaking, the purpose of it, the origin of it. Uh, I mean, on a, on a spiritual level, I'd, I'd have to say that it's just another distraction. And if you really want to get deep, the Olympics, that name comes from the Olympians and the Olympians are the archons huh, that are responsible for defeating and imprisoning the Titans, which is our souls. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? The, the, prim the primordial souls getting imprisoned in this meat suit and in this parasitic realm, that is literally the Titans getting trapped in our prison. And the Olympians are responsible for that. The Olympians are pro-matrix. The Titans are anti-matrix. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... You know, the, the, so the, you know, like you said, the, the Olympian, the, the Olympics in a nutshell, it is, it's, it's a big, uh, it's a big ritual and, uh, it's, it's a distraction on a spiritual level. Let me ask you, I've heard people into the spiritual community say that the old souls, as you refer to, they choose to come down here to wake up humanity to who they are. Do you, mm -hmm. is there a way, do you think it's possible for the archons, they say we fall through the realms, we fall through the octaves, we, we fall through different levels before we hit this realm here. Do you think mm -hmm. they can spot an old soul 
before it gets to this room and say, oh, shit, hell no. That one is not coming down here. We got to stop RFG from reincarnating or we have to stop Brother Rich from re. Do they do that? Like, can they stop old souls from reincarnating because they can spot it energetically? Uh, it's it's very possible. And um, that could be the reason why, you know, we've experienced tens of millions of abortions uh, in the past 20 to 20. No, I'd say the past 35, yeah, about 30, past 35 years, think there's been over 20, 25 million abortions in the States. And mm -hmm. out of those 20, 25 million abortions, how many of those could have, could have been, you know, a, a, a spiritually enlightened being that was sent back here to wake people up? You know, we, we could have had maybe, you know, 20, 20 of them. We could have maybe even had uh, a thousand of them. You know what I'm saying? A thousand people willing to overthrow this matrix. Who who knows? Um, but I do know anything is possible. And the Archons are definitely capable of sensing which which we you know which soul is who, which, which soul went through which experiences, which souls know what, and who is who. Um, there is an animal on the planet that is actually able to locate the a human soul, no matter where it goes um, on the earth. And that is a cat. That is, um, and I think it's mostly domesticated cats. And, you know, domesticated cats, they were spliced with wild cats, rabbits, and, uh, and a certain serpent. Now, these creatures, these domesticated cats, they, they are known for doing something called side trailing. It's called side trailing. And if you own the cat and you move hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the cat, that cat will be able to trace you where, you know what I'm saying, wherever you go in, in the United States. And it's, you know, it's already been proven. And uh, it can't be pheromones. It, can, it cannot be uh, scent molecules because scent molecules you're not able to the scent, scent molecules do not travel hundreds and hundreds of miles away you see what i'm saying so it's not scent molecules it has to be something else so you know the only thing that they're saying is it's called side trailing and that's because also the cat has a very hyperactive pineal gland uh and to the point to where they can see so you know which souls are who mm -hmm. yeah uh do you um let me ask you, do you desire, because of what you just said about the leaving this realm and not coming back to this realm, do you have a desire for what we in this realm will call success? Like, um, I want to be a, a, a musician or I want to be financially successful or I want to have a family or I want this or I want that. Or do you, or do you, is your mission strictly to get the hell up out of here and you don't really care about having a family or being a famous musician or a famous singer or a famous rapper, or a famous doctor, a lawyer? Like, do you have any of those desires or do you just feel you want to get out of here? To the, to the people who do have those desires, I don't really think there's anything majorly wrong with it as long as it's in your heart. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 problem, the problem arises when you're pursuing a life path or you're pursuing some kind of accolade uh, and, and you're doing it because you're, you're letting other people live their lives through you um, or you're trying to get it, you know, to fill some kind of insecurity void in, inside of yourself. When, when you do that, that's, you know, that's no good at all. Um, so if, if you really, in your heart of hearts, if you really have a passion for doing something that can possibly get you, you know, accolades in this society, as long as it's in your heart and you're not hurting anybody else to get to where you want to go, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Now, me personally, um, I've seen so much in this life and I've experienced so much in this life and I've learned so much in this life at, to, to the point to where I've... I think and feel in my soul that I know that there's higher entities that put me on this path for a reason. So I don't think that they gave me all this information 
just for me to indulge um, in what what this matrix has to offer. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. every, everything that I that I've been allowed to learn, I think is a sign that you know I, I need to use that information to the best of my ability to, to get out of here. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. Do you have any re remembrance of past lives in this room? Uh, not not picture mem memories. I have more so fe uh, feelings of what happened with me in um a, a, you know a past life. Um, I know for a fact that I had, I, I had, uh, parents that actually wanted to see me do well, that actually wanted to see me thrive and, you know, succeed in the matrix. And I believe that I did certain things, uh, to take advantage of them in the past life. And I didn't really, I don't think I really appreciated them to the fullest extent. Uh, so in this incarnation, mm -hmm. I was born into like the opposite situation. Mm -hmm. Do you think I asked a question earlier about the Archons uh, intercepting souls from coming down here? Do you think an Archon, if you have a high frequency or high vibration, would purposely try to incarnate as your child to kind of cause some type of mischief in your life? Do you think that's a possibility? That is a huge possibility. And uh, ac according to my research, um, anytime you have an older soul coming back, nine times out of 10, 95% of, of, of the time, they're going to come back in a family of, of newer souls. I Now, on a spiritual level, I'm not too sure on why that happens, why it's set up that way. That's just the way it is. Uh, according to my research, it, it might be due to the astrological chart. And what, what I'm starting to notice is people who have placements in their ninth, 11th and 12th houses of their astrological chart seem to be older souls. The people who have placements, which in, when I say placements, I mean planets. So the people with, with planets in their ninth, 11th and 12th houses they seem to be older souls also if you have neptune or uranus in your 10th house you know you could also be an older soul as well so when we talk about the houses 9 10 11 and 12 and the astrological chart those are the higher octave charts they're called mm. you know the, the, the i mean the higher octave houses you know uh mm. 9 10 11 and 12 so that signifies you know, higher levels of wisdom, higher levels of awareness. RFG, what do you think is the, um, you talked about the black Americans being the so-called black Americans or the descendants of the Washita being a fire nation. What is, uh, what would you say is our biggest organic technology that we possess? biggest organic technology would well, definitely uh would have to have to be uh the the pineal gland the pineal gland and then um the uh the high the high concentration of neuromelanin well when, when i when i say this uh, and i i get that but what, what i mean is in terms of the our, our high concentration of neuromelanin what does it project as in this realm? Does it project as us being athletic? Does it project at us being engineers? Like, how would that show itself in this realm? A high concentration of neuromelanin. Extremely high levels of kundalini fire in our bodies. Uh -huh. um, extremely creative, extremely creative and innovative energy flowing through okay. us. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm talking about, you know, the the uh, the utmost organic level of creativity that you could ever imagine. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. If people in the chat, right? Yeah. Creativity. So, yeah, creativity. That's the main thing it would show as in this realm. And, and yep. Yeah, and, and then on, on, on a lower level, uh, you know, it's it um, it enhances the athletic ability. Oh, so, so what, what about music? What about music? 
Oh yeah, that's yeah, that that's all in there with the organic creativity uh, and certain inventions, uh, different um, you know different genres of music or different musical creations, um, certain trends, you know, because the world follows the trends of mm -hmm. Turtle Island. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that's 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 dealing with the Kundalini fire, uh, dealing with dealing with the frequency of organic creativity, innovation, um, and you know being being an initiator. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? An initiator, uh, you know, a, a pioneer. You know, fire also rules the three firehouses of the astrological chart, which is House One, House Five, and House Nine. Mm -hmm. And that's all about that's all about being an initiator being a leader uh you know being a 